Hi, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. What's this soaring high in the air? It looks like a plane, but has no engine. It's a hang glider. A hang glider is a light aircraft that floats through the air. They have a strong aluminum frame, which is covered by sailcloth to make a wing. The pilot hangs below the wing, and by moving their bodies, they can control the direction the glider goes. But if there's no engine, how do they get into the air to start with? That's how. What an amazing running takeoff. Some gliders are tandem. That means there are two people, which is great for training new pilots. The pilot points out where he wants to land. Watch out for the trees. landing. He's safely on the ground. Here comes the tandem. They use the wheels and roll to a stop. Would you like to soar high above in a hang glider too? Huru! Hi boys and girls. Reggie Roo here. Have you ever seen a sailing ship before? Today, we're looking at a sailing ship called a yacht. Here are some colorful yachts in a harbor. These are built for racing. On board, the crew are getting ready before they head out. Here is a smaller yacht sailing out from the harbor. Can you see the white sail? The sail catches in the wind and pushes the yacht forward. Have you ever been outside on a windy day? The wind can be very strong, can't it? The yacht sails past some large red vessels in the industrial harbor. Gee, that's impressive. They bob along as the yacht heads out of the harbor. Along the way, they pass an old tall ship before the yacht continues out to sea. Arr. I hope there are no pirates on board. Would you like to go on a yacht that is being driven by the wind? You could sail the high seas. It would be a great adventure, wouldn't it? Hooroo! Good day, boys and girls. Reggie Roo here. Have you ever imagined floating way up in the air? Like a hot air balloon does? Early in the morning, they begin to fill up the balloons with hot air. The pilot uses a big fan and a loud burner to fill the balloon. The hot air makes the balloon float. The burners also make the balloons glow in the dark. Doesn't that look great? Can you see the flames from the burners? Wow. One of the hot air balloons begins to float up. The pilot sits in the basket and controls the burner. His colorful balloon goes higher and higher. The burner makes lots of noise. There are lots of different types of balloons. Here is one in the mountains that is shaped like a bumblebee. They are very colorful. High above the fields and trees, the purple and red balloon sails away. Do you think it would be fun to float along in a hot air balloon? Yes, me too. Uru. Good day, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. What can float on water, but also fly? A seaplane can. A seaplane has big floats on the bottom instead of wheels. Therefore, a seaplane can float 
just like a boat. They use calm bodies of water, like a lake or a river, as a runway, which means they can land in places where there are no runways, like high up on a remote mountain lake. Seaplanes can also dock at a harbor just like a boat. Here's a seaplane motoring through the water. Is it about to take off? Yes, it is. The propeller speeds up, the water begins to splash and spray, and take off. Up, up, and away it flies, high above the buildings and ships. The seaplane soars through the sky like a bird. Out of the clouds comes the seaplane. Would you like to see it land on the lake? Looks like it's coming into land now. And splash! The seaplane touches down on the water. Did you know that some airplanes could take off and land on water? Aren't seaplanes clever? Huru. Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Have you seen a helicopter before? I have. And aren't they magnificent? Did you know, helicopters have lots of funny nicknames. Chopper, Copter, Heli, or even Whirlybird. Here is a red Whirlybird in the snow. The rotor blades spin very fast. This lifts the Whirlybird into the air. From high in the air, you can see lots of wonderful sights. You can see the ocean, towns, cities with skyscrapers, helicopter pads, rivers, lakes, mountains. Deserts. And animals. Helicopters are great for rescuing people in trouble. This is because, like a plane, they are fast. But they can also land almost anywhere. In a stadium, perhaps? Or a car park? The President of the United States of America has their own helicopter. It's a big green chopper called Marine One. Would you like to have your own helicopter too? Hooroo! Good day, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. What's a flying machine that soars high in the air like a bird? Is it a train? No, it's a plane. There are fast planes. Whoosh. There are small planes. There are big planes. And there are even tall ones. There are colorful biplanes flying in formation. 
and jumbo jets being loaded with luggage, ready for vacation. There are planes with jets, and planes with propellers, yet they all have wings, and they all have a tail. Some planes can even deliver the mail. They can land on water, or drop it on a fire. It seems there's a plane for your every desire. Above the clouds they fly. Look at the plane's shadow below. Wow, to be so high must be a great show. An airplane truly is one of the awesome things that go. Hooroo! Good day, boys and girls. Reggie Roo here. Oh no. What's this? It looks like a dangerous forest fire. There's lots of smoke billowing from the fire. It is getting very close to the houses. Here come some fire trucks. I think they'll need help to put out the fire. Is that a helicopter flying through the smoke? Maybe they can help. The helicopter is lowering down an orange bucket. They're picking up water from the lake so they can splash it on the forest fire to put it out. The big bucket of water dangles below the helicopter. Some of the water sprays out the side. Another large helicopter has come to help. It's sucking up the water with a big hose. The helicopter now flies over the fire. Smoke is all around it, and it drops all the water on the fire. Then another helicopter drops more water on the fire. Splash! Back and forth they go collecting and dropping more water. Together, they've put out the fire. Now all the people and their houses are safe. Thank you, firefighting helicopters. Hooroo! Hi, kids. Reggie Roo here. What has a really fast spinning rotor with blades that lift it into the air? A helicopter! Here is a blue helicopter, ready to go on a scenic flight. Can you see the rotor spin? At the tail of the helicopter is the tail rotor. This helps the helicopter stay straight and not spin around and around. And up into the air goes the blue chopper. And away it goes. From up high in the helicopter, you can see down the beautiful beach below. Look at the helicopter fly through the air. Swish, 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 goes the white helicopter as it flies past. Helicopters are very clever. They can land and take off almost anywhere. That's because they can go straight up and down. They can also hover in midair. Wow, look at that red helicopter spin and then fly away. There are lots of different helicopters. Here is a large yellow medical helicopter hovering. It's like a flying ambulance. It is much bigger than the helicopters we saw before. Away flies the big helicopter into the sunset. Uru. Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Are there planes that can fly without propellers? Yes, they have powerful jet engines. You may have seen an airplane with jet engines before. 
most passenger planes have large jet engines. And so do super fast, loud, aerobatic jet fighter planes. Look at it spin. Here are some blue and yellow jets taxiing on a runway. One, two, three, four. Blue and yellow jet airplanes. These jets are F-18 Navy jets. Can you see their powerful jets at the back? And take off! They fly with great precision. This is called flying in formation. Aren't they impressive? For extra speed, this jet is dumping fuel from the jet engine creating a huge flame called an afterburner. Some jets, like this Harrier jump jet, can take off and land vertically, just like a helicopter. Wow, aren't jets great? Would you like to pilot a fast jet airplane one day? Hooroo! Hello kids, Reggie Roo here. You are in for a treat today. Have you ever seen a space shuttle? There's the shuttle on the launch pad. It's about to launch. Everyone at Mission Control is ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and lift off. Wow! Fire blasts out of the engine and the smoke billows out as the shuttle powers into the sky. The shuttle is made up of a large orange fuel tank, two thin white rocket boosters, and the part that looks like a plane is called an orbiter. Soon after, the two white boosters drop off and fall into the ocean. A special boat picks them up as the shuttle continues into space. The shuttle is used to carry astronauts and equipment to the International Space Station, which rotates high above the Earth below. Inside the space station, the astronauts conduct experiments as they float around. Later, we use the orbiter to get back down to Earth. Glides back like a plane. Speed now 320 miles per hour. Here's down and locked. Touchdown. The parachute at the back helps the orbiter slow down. Isn't that exciting? Would you like to be an astronaut and go into space? Yes, I would too. The astronauts are back safely on the ground. Hooroo!